What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt. Today we're going to be talking about the P2 and starting it up like you're making a laser engraving business. So I have a project we're going to run through here and we're going to see how it runs. And you can also do the same thing and do this full time like me. I run this out of my garage, my business. I do this full time. I started my business in 2015. So I can help you. I will try. <laughs> so let's get into it. Today we're going to run this and we're going to run a project. A project that always will sell for you. I like to say is you got to build your foundation. When you build a house, you don't build it from the roof down. You build it from foundation up. There's five life events that I always, always talk about. And today we're going to make that one of them to start to help you guys. So I'll be making a five video series on starting your own business and projects to start. So this is the first one. So let's go. All right, now that I got my piece of wood, we're gonna paint this. You're gonna be like, what? Yes, we're gonna paint this. So I picked out a color. What we're gonna make is, it's like a, a birth announcement is what you call it. And we're gonna make it as a, like a tractor. And I'll show you, there's benefits to this one. So we're gonna paint this first. Once we're done painting it, then we're gonna engrave it and cut it and I'll show you what it looks like. Now I'm just putting in the laser and I'm going to paint it in here. I got my brush and paint. We're just going to paint it really quick. It doesn't take long. So now if you were, if I was doing this and I was selling a bunch of them, I would have a bunch of these already painted and ready to go. So you, all you have to do is take it off the shelf and you're good to go. Now once you have it all painted, make sure you have at least 12 inches. I would say 12 and a half at least. This is 13, so we're good. 13 inches, because that's what it'll take, take up the space for. Now what I had to do is I designed this all in Lightburn. I do not like Xtool's creative space. You cannot do much with it compared to Lightburn. So Lightburn's more fluent for me, works for me. That's what I use. Then I send it over to creative space and then I, I pick my settings and everything, and then I send it here. We have it all set, and guess what? I broke my USB cord to go in here. And I've been trying to get this work with the um, ethernet, and it's not working. It doesn't wanna com be compatible, compatible with my computer. So I'm gonna do it the old style USB. So we're gonna give it a whirl. Got my computer all hooked up, and there is an update, so <laughs> we gotta wait a little bit. But while we're waiting, so I wanna talk about why I'm doing this. There is, I've always said you start with the foundation, so we got five things I'm gonna come up with. It'll be five different videos, and then all these files that I'm making, I'll have them in my Etsy shop that's linked down below in the description if you wanna buy it, or if you don't wanna buy it, then don't, I don't care. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, you can create something different or whatever. I got ideas how to switch it up, make it look different so not everyone's making the same thing too. Because there's plenty of work out there, let me tell you. So now what I'm doing is I'm lining up the tractor, making sure everything's gonna fit before I just hit start. So whenever you open the lid, you wanna hit refresh after you move everything. So let's just move everything over. This is what it's gonna look like. Looks good. So then I gotta turn on the exhaust fan before we just hit start. Now we can press the button. All right, so <laughs> hold on, hold the show. I am nothing but the truth and I tell you guys everything and I'm honest with you guys because I want you guys to succeed because honestly there's so much work out there there really is no one has to even copy each other there's a ton of work out there for everyone we had a problem with this it didn't cut through I'll be completely honest with you had issues like you wouldn't believe couldn't get it couldn't get it figured out cleaned all the mirrors and then guess what happened laser wouldn't fire 
Thought I toasted the tube. I'm like, I don't get it. I don't have that many hours on here, you know. It should be working just fine. Took it apart and I realized one of the mirrors was not correct. So you're gonna notice on the inside mirror here, this mirror right here, you take it out and there's a notch. And I put the notch back in the same spot, but it was off a titch. When it's off, there's a little screw back there that this notch sits over. So if you're off a little bit, it sits on top of it and the mirror was slanted and it wouldn't cut. So, if you grab this mirror, rub your hand on it, if, if it moves at all, it's wrong. Now we got that settled. I also cleaned all the mirrors. Went through the laser, everything, went through parameters, Checked for square, everything was fine. So, you're asking yourself, well then what was wrong, Matt? Why couldn't you cut through? Do you remember way back when I used to be downstairs doing all this? I had an issue with a bunch of wood. And I, when we are moving up here, the wood got mixed up. And I couldn't find the two pieces I had left that was bad. Well, I found it. This is one of them. I put it in the thunder to cut this to find out what's going on and my settings didn't work in there and I'm like something's wrong with the wood then because those settings are spot on so I because I doubted myself on here last time I cut on here the settings work great so I couldn't believe it I just couldn't figure it out we got it figured out I got a new chunk of wood painted so let's cut this and see what it looks like now <laughs> So this one's stuck in just a little bit. Looks like you're uh, oh, just a tiny bit of dink cut right there. But that one's done. And this one's done. Now let's clean them up and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, for this step, all we need, I don't have a sink out here. I used to have one downstairs where I used to work, but water bottle, spray bottle, a cloth, towel, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be micro, whatever you have. We're just gonna squirt it so it gets damp. Let you rub this off. If you want it to, you can sand it. I have stuff going on over here where the sander is. So I'm not able to use it right now. I mean, I could. I have to set it up, move it, so I don't want to. I'm gonna do the old fashioned way like I always used to do. Done. Now we're gonna take this one, squirt a little more on there. Not too bad, huh? Pretty slick. Now I have this, it's just shy of 12 inches. This is the size I thought would work best. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna glue this on. Can you see what I'm doing yet? So what, the glue I like to use for all like the wood, I was told by a couple guys in the Patreon group that I have, the wood turner told me this, Kim. This has been some really good glue. And all you need is a little bit and it's, it's slick. So we're just gonna put a couple of dots on here and that's it, probably five. Now we're gonna take this, put it right where the wheel needs to go push down voila that's it that's all she wrote so if you're wondering what this is people like to lay stuff next to their baby and it says the date the time the weight and the length now they'll always have this for the rest of their life and I think it's a great addition for a newborn so we're gonna set something heavy on there until dries which is like a minute or two after a couple minutes take the weight off she's dry looks good now what you can do you can send it out just like this not do anything and it's fine customers will be happy 
or you can go get some of this. This is what I spray it with. So if you spray it with this, you can write on it and it's fine. That's that's why I, I like this stuff. The outcome looks very nice. Um, so it all depends on what you want and what you want to sell and you know present to your customer. So I'll have a link for this, all this stuff, I guess, in the description. Um, and the, the laser that I use, I'll have a link in my Etsy. You can go to my Etsy shop and I'll have the, the file for this. Um, I'm gonna do, so this is the baby one, and the next five, or four videos, because this is number five, this will be number one, I'm gonna do all the steps for the foundation. So I'm gonna walk you through everything and how I, how I think you should do it. So now you have one baby thing, and we're gonna keep going through all this, and once we get the foundation set, we'll go from there. Now, you can also change this. You can make a blue tractor, you can make a green tractor, you can make a, a red tractor, you can make a pink tractor, a purple tractor, it don't matter. <clears throat> because it's you have different customers, boys, girls, and so forth. The other thing you can do is you can cut the name out and glue the name here and just do a scribe mark. Be a good idea. Make it completely different. No one else will be doing that. So, just things to think about. Or you can do something in the window here. But this is this this stuff that I keep preaching to everyone. You got to have a foundation. You get that foundation set, and you're gonna you're gonna do very well. <clears throat> Trust me, I have. This is why I'm where I am today. Until the next video. Glad you got to see me again. <laughs> Bye.